<laughs> You're a cyclist now, but you started out in the military. Tell us about your days in the army. Um, well, I joined the army in 2007, and I was an ops up, so it's like logistics. In the army, your mates and like the mateship and stuff is really big, and teamwork. It's the same in a, in a cycling team. You're there to support your mates, and you work together with teamwork to win races. Carl's an inspirational rider. He's good fun around the team. He never complains. He's uh, someone we can trust. We give him a job to do, and he always does the job. So in 2011, um, the year that Cadell won the tour, I got hit by a car early in the morning before work. When the car hit me, it severed my patella tendon. I also hurt my hands and um, my bowel uh, collapsed the lung and, and I broke my neck and back as well. Still in rehab, I was on the, on the trainers as quick as I could, even though I couldn't, I couldn't do a full pedal stroke, but I could like, do like half and I was just doing that till I could make it around. We do catch him at the odd time, out the corner of your, of your eye, you'll catch him uh, struggling with a bit of pain. Walking's very difficult for him. We always try and stay on the ground floor when we're with Kyle. I think that walking probably uh, just uses the muscles in a different way than, than riding, and riding such a repetitive motion, and I've probably adapted to it quite well. What about the Paralympics then? It's not too far away, Rio. I'd love to go, but it's, it's, I think it's pretty competitive. Um, between me, Alistair and, and Mickey G. So I think they're a bit ahead of me at the moment. <laughs> if he wants to do it, and I'm sure he does, he'll do it. He's done everything else he's wanted to do.